All right, y'all. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to read some. This is going to be Brad Black. Yes, yes. They will be driving last. Some of you folks say you don't have a TV on in the background. I don't. So we're here watching old TV shows, waiting on everything else to go off TV so I can watch it. But it's neither here nor there. Let's see. It's a lot of shit. I'd rather upload it to YouTube than be on that other platform. Don't be fucking paid. No, I'm just playing. It's not about that though. But I was like, hey, you nah, they gonna die me the fuck out. She nah. Anywho, let's go. I think it's my last show for her. I need one more. Anywho, let's get to it. I might pull this down. I got a blanket over my leg though. So you be alright. I don't need you saying all of my crotch. Thank you. Ooh, we got root girl. Is that light you burning? Seem like she's reflecting off that motherfucker. And then we got surrender. All right, let's go. Ooh, girl, we got surrender. What's that say? Rising above the fray. And then we got surrender. Ooh, that's being able to get out of the bullshit, getting back connected to who you are and what's necessarily going on. Let's see. All right, I think I'm going to have to pause this one. All right, let's see. Then when a hero comes along with a strength to carry on, when you cast your fears aside, I got some shit I'm supposed to be writing anyway. That you know you can survive. Look at spirit just being petty as hell. <laughs> That's petty as hell. I'm going to tell you. Everything's always a teachable moment, ain't it? Not really. Okay. To me. We got me talks. Overall move, we got me talks. It's like repairing the mind, body, and the spirit, though. I did say I need this, though. Especially this hangman position. Needing to sit down, have some time to self-reflect, emotionally detox from situations. This is just being away from the world. Uh, this is just uh, being at a space where it could be tended to the inner child or where you feel like you could be free or in your skin. Oh, let me tell you, I've been wanting to be in my own damn skin so goddamn bad. Not saying I'm going through a personality issue or nothing like that. But I would like to be in my own skin. When I say in my own skin, like when you just disconnect from the world and you don't have to deal with the day-to-day -day antics of what's going on. So some of y'all could be dealing with that. Because first card out, we got Vanishing Mirror, which is ego sublimination. That's at a point where, um, oh, no, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Where the fuck that latest card go? What I do with it? Being in your skin. Some of y'all with this creative, it's some creative energy that's necessarily coming up where um, whether you do like arts, singing, dancing, music, writing, whatever the fuck it is that's going on. Some of y'all, that ego that's going through that ego there for the creative period where you just want to be in your own skin. Some of y'all just need to pull back from a lot of things that's around you because some of y'all could be so at a point where if you be like, man, I know for me, I used to like smoke weed and then sit up here and write. So that was like a time for me. For some of y'all, it's like spirit or whatever connection or your body is telling you that one of y'all got to be able to pull back because it's teaching you that you can or will. Like you is this without whatever it is. I don't know if there is a relationship or anything that's going on in your life because there could be some type of codependence going on because you do got a metamorphosis coming up at a time where you're going through this cocooning. So it could be change or hard shift that's necessarily coming up. I'm telling you, it's like one of y'all theme is you can do this. We had that this week. I was like, damn, you know, you can do it. We had that this week, though. Come on now. But I had left it out. It's like shit. In the next week, came out to be a fucking love freak. It's like shit. Good luck with that one. That shit was some shit. Not talking about nobody love. All right. Stay focused. When your hero comes along with the strength, yeah, damn, that's too many goddamn cars. And who is that who got solar plex problems? Like, one of y'all really do. Somebody like, I don't know. Something good knock your breathing. I tell you that, yeah, you breathing hard as hell. I've been doing it for the past couple of days. 
page of cups. All right, okay. I'm going to try issues like I said. Now, boom. Yeah, here we go. I did say that, but this is an energy we're going to have to pull it back from certain people. Some of y'all, there are certain things that's going on where it's like a group of people, leadership, pack, whatever that's going on. There's a change where I say you can do this. That's that pullback energy, some of that inner strength, so you can be able to have the courage to do whatever it is that you need to do. Because this hangman being in reverse and this six of pentacles in a cherry, there is an argument that's going on, or there is an argument or a lack of being able to see somebody else's point of view in a particular situation when it comes down to what you need your time to, who is around you. Um there is a, a heavy energy where it's kind of like I'm saying it's giving me strong codependencies where it's like, no, let's do this. No. Like <laughs> There's a heavy energy that's coming up with it, though. I'm saying between you and someone else, where it could be a forcing of codependent. I don't want to say forcing, but there's heavy, strong influences where somebody's like, let's go this way. And you're like, no, I kind of want to do this. And I feel like there's an overshadowing, though, because there could be a point where somebody could be getting accustomed to a sense of reality, though, and not knowing how to be able to fight back. And the reason why I say that, though, and that could be affecting your inner child, because you got Ten of Wands, you have the Four of Swords in reverse, and the High Priestess. So at the same time, it's like, I let this, but do I actually accept the help or do I have the help around me to be able to fix a particular situation? Whether you want to be done with something or something's genuinely done, this is a person of a reality though where some of y'all could be holding on to some resentment or pain or residual energy where I do feel like that is attacking your inner child because you got the Knight of Pentacles being in reverse, the Seven of Wands, and also the Page of Cups. Now, with that page of cups being in reverse, I told you that connected to your uh, muse energy. With the Knight of Pentacles, I tell you that's where in that space of where if you have uh, granted for time or something that you're good at, this could be people trying to throw money at you. I want this and I want this and I want this when it comes down to creative projects. For some of y'all, if there's rules, guidelines, strategic methods and how you do certain things, there is like this insincere, manipulative energy. I can do whatever I want because it's a me, me, me ass syndrome where somebody don't give a damn about somebody else, though, especially when it comes down to the seven of wands. I'm telling you, it's like teeter tottering, above the lines, teeter tottering, going back and forth. It is, though. I'm saying it's a lot of it's a lot of heavy energy here. I'm saying like it's going from solar plex to heart, solar plex to heart, solar plex to heart. It's like here and here and here. I don't know. It could be something that's near and dear to you. Like somebody could be killing off your faith or belief though. But I tell you, there's a lot of resentment though. I don't know if it's a relationship with family, friends, because we do got the chariot here. It could be emotional support system on that one. But with the chariot card being upright and the hangman with that, what's that page you want? No, that's Knight of Wands being her. Yeah. That's the new one. This is family drama. Yeah, that's family drama. Y'all sick of some of that shit? I see there But if it's not family drama, it could be friends or emotional support systems that I keep saying in your life that's very problematic. I tell you that, like it's very problematic, like the things they do in particular behaviors. Now with this ego sublimination, we got nine of pentacles. We also have the three of swords in reverse and the six of wands. Some of y'all, this is going in a different direction, especially with this Nine of Pentacles. I don't know if this is taking your own money, your self-worth, your value, or what you put your time and interest. Um, what you put your time and interest into, because you got two sixes right here. But you also got a half of a six when it comes down to this Three of Swords, though. So that's y'all wanting to move forward, but at the same time, it's kind of like... Um, Y'all want to move forward, but there is a sense of stagnancy that's in the air where you're trying to be like, okay, I'm trying to chug this boat, like chugga, 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 because that goes back to the energy where you can do certain things, but you don't feel like you can. For some of y'all, there is clarity in a particular situation. I tell you, there is a move, there is money, there is finance, and some of y'all probably need to move y'all money around in y'all account. Um, who moving? Like somebody moving, relocating. And somebody's not happy about that, though. It's the Three of Swords. I don't know if this is friend groups or certain people. I don't know whatever it is that's going on in the past. Because with that Three and that Sword, like however you used to move, whatever you used to do, like that's heavy coming up because that's some strong resentment, though. So it's this energy of if you used to doing certain shit, it could be somebody. You could be dealing with somebody that's unbreaking in the motherfucker, though. Damn. Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said it could be some ungratefulness that's going on. Because somebody's so used to, oh no, yeah. And like being able to talk, coerce, manipulate the situation, push somebody into something that they don't want to do. That's the particular problem, though. Because we got the Seven of Cups. We also had the Eight of Swords. And then we got the goddamn Eight of Wands. 
that's a lot though. Maybe some of y'all suffer with anxiety or maybe you like, some of y'all may suffer with anxiety or some form of depression or uh, under a lot of pressure when it comes down to thinking. So there's this, oh, I'm going to call on so-and-so, so-and-so. I'm going to accept I'm going to do this, da, 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 da. That's the mind games or the clusterfuck that somebody necessarily has. So for some of y'all, y'all could be relocating to get away from old habits, old situation, old people, especially when it comes down to toxicity though. Because um, some of y'all may go through a period with this ego sublimination where I do feel like it's going to be this disconnection because you see how his skull is um, running away from all that red to his root chakra. So that could be what people say, what they thought, what they do, people who you hung with, what's going on this, because it's being able to move forward. Because wherever you're going, as you're moving forward, or whatever you're stepping into in this particular nature, this is someone that wants to come with your ass. And I feel like they can't. That is a problem that you going to have to deal with. Now, um... We got to do it for music and inspiration. So I fuck up with that time because I get this uh, With the hair form being in reverse, we also got the Nine of Swords. With the Wheel of Fortune being in reverse, we also had the Ten of Swords and the Five of Wands. Then I say the hierarchy. 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 Um, I did say something about some janky contracts or something going on, especially with this Wheel of Fortune. That's why I said there could be some codependency. Some of y'all could be not going a contractual route anymore and saying, no, I'm good. I don't want to do this anymore because it could have been a whole, uh, like some of y'all, this could be your own producer, your own writer. Um, it was people who used to go through for merch. Um, it could be independency. Some of y'all could be stepping out of jobs. Whatever the fuck it is, some of y'all not working with whoever you used to work. Network with certain people who you do not work with anymore because it's like, it's this energy where it blocks you. Like, it brung down like some type of hardship. Like, when y'all not working with somebody no more? You're not, like, one of y'all genuine and not working with them no more because they're going to tend to swords, though. But I don't feel like it's going to be a, a smooth ending. I'll tell you that because with this ten of swords, it's going to be probably, oh, you ain't going to be able to do this. Or, girl, you finna do this. Or, da, 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 da. It's going to be a whole lot where people going to be, um, it's going to be trying to underestimate you. For some of y'all, when you were under contract or working certain jobs or dealing with certain people or heavy under, um, I was going to say spell work. I don't know what that means. I want to say heavy influences. I'm telling you, it was an oppressive energy that came with this Ten of Swords, though. So one of y'all just is being able to reinvent. Reinvent. What's the word? What's another word? Reinvent. Revamp. Reconstruct. It's re re re. That's why I said some of y'all in this seven. It's like re 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 re. It's revamp, reconstruct. Cause there's a ten of swords though. This is bad mouth and that is betrayal. That is ending. Somebody doesn't want to accept the ending to a reality though, especially with their five of wands. Some of y'all just could have been in a competitive market or a competitive place where you feel like you had to fight for a sense of this though, because that's when the ten of swords was in reverse though. So long as you were in the drama and the conflicts, uh engaging into problematic behaviors or feel like you have to fight for a way of attention or uh vying for something. That was a way where it was like, oh no, this is my friend or da 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 and it seems like somebody could be in the energy or the space, whether this a marriage or commitment or whatever rules or regulations or institutions that you could be dealing with the matter that when it goes like this, this is that mm. Oh, so now you turn your back on me. Some of y'all finally recognize it. A lot of people really ain't your friend. That's a whole nother nature. Now, we do got hollow bone teachability. If y'all know where I went, it's been going through. That's why I said it's pretty funny as fuck. Okay. We got three of pentacles in reverse, and we also got the knight of swords with the page of wands and the Santa Marte. For some of y'all, this somebody that don't want to let go of a particular person. Like somebody keeps trying to be in a stage of where um, this is teachability or a particular moment that's coming up. It's, this is a dense area. Somebody who you could be communicating. I don't, I'm not going to say they dense, um, but there's a particular area where it could be soft to touch. It could need more room for molding, whether this is communicating with someone else or another particular person with the three of pentacles because somebody don't know how to look at the bigger picture. Uh, this could be lost out on particular opportunities uh, with teachability. This could be somebody dropping out of school. Some of y'all, this is relocating y'all kids to different schools because y'all been having problems. Some of y'all been having problems with y'all kids because some of y'all kids got smart ass mouths. I'm just going to say that is what it is. Um, I'm telling you, one of y'all kids got a smart ass mouth. I don't want to say like a smart ass mouth. They probably got a smart ass mouth, but it's like a rebuttal. Like they be having rebuttals and shit. 
And it's like they can only hold themselves back for so long. It feels kind of bannerish, I tell you that though. But with the teachability, I'm telling you there is a grudge. This is a particular person that don't know how to look at the bigger picture. They don't want to let some go. This is ongoing problems, problematic behavior. So for some of y'all, this is like, okay, well, this is some of y'all relocating your kids and putting them in a different school. But there's some form of communication because one of y'all feel like if you move them or you replace them somewhere else, something is going to change, though. But it could be institution-wise. I don't know. It could be something. Um, it could be some with the... I don't want to say something with the kid. Because I feel like it's more on the adults. Because that's the staff card. I might pause this and go over there and get that. So I can read it to you for the umpteen time. Now, we do got King of Swords and the Lovers being in reverse. And we also have the Sun card. Yeah. This could be a school... I'm going through that too. Some of y'all, this is a school. This could be some form of institution because I'm telling you, one of y'all kids been having problems at school. And this could be at the point of where it's like communication style or something in that particular nature because this is a this is a teacher. One of y'all child having children with a teacher who don't know how to communicate. So they don't know how to stop certain things going on. It's the difference between being a child and a parent. Now, this don't even have to be with school. This is a teachable moment where somebody can learn. They don't know the realms of, am I going to be the... Um, communicator, am I, if it goes back to job, whatever it is, like somebody doesn't know their position, so there's a particular problem. Because we go to the King of Swords, the Lovers card being a reverse and the Sun card. This could be somebody that genuinely hate their job. I'm saying, especially with the King of Swords, the Lovers being a reverse and the Sun card, this is somebody that genuinely hates their fucking job. Ugh. So one of y'all could be dealing with somebody, like this could be a teacher that's dealing with a problematic if there's a teacher, there's a teacher dealing with a problematic boss. If there is the boss, they dealing with a problematic teacher. Anything of that nature, I'm telling you here. This is accountability. Because with the king of swords being a reverse and the lovers and the child, this money don't give a damn about no goddamn kids. They don't. They don't care. Let's play a whole bunch of games. They don't not care. Then we got the star card. Then we got the five of swords. And then we also have the moon. Teachability, though, this could be a person where I would say you could be interacting if it goes back to where you're dealing with somebody when it comes down to the ego, where you could be dropping them and being able to move forward. This just could be a lesson, though, that some people genuinely just don't grow up. Like, they really don't, especially with the stock card and the five of swords and the moon. Like, there is a sense of trust. Some of y'all, this is where you need to stop at. I can't tell you, uh, uh, stop. Damn, that's not coming out right. Just get it the way it gets. Some of y'all got to stop having our kids around certain people because they're mirroring certain behavior. And it's a parent or a particular person that don't want to be accountable for their actions, though. And this goes down to the inner child aspect. I don't know if it is cruelty. I don't know if it's communication. I don't know what it is. But this particular person has a problem, though, and they don't never like to be accountable for their actions. Now, we go down to the star card and the five of swords and the moon. There's trust issues because some of y'all, this could be uh, who they hang around, who giving them attention. I tell you, there's a particular child or a person. Uh, hell, you could be a younger child. This could be your inner child as an adult that you're going through this particular cycle. So it don't even have to be nothing with school. This child be hanging with the wrong people or you as an adult be hanging with the wrong people that be giving you a sense of attention. There's some connected to what people have that draw them in and it puts them in fucked up situations because whoever they be hanging with, they be putting them like this is on guard. I don't know, like if there's a household where there's fights, there's arguments, there's disagreement, this is a child that's always on guard and always ready to fight, square up, um, dealing with a rush of emotions or some form of anxiety. I tell you that because I'm so he's going from solar plex to heart and now it's just in my heart. Sorry, I'm not looking up. You want to pull it down? Uh, no, nah, shit, you still can't see it. That's on you. But um, with that star card, I'm telling you, with that five of swords, this could be a particular person. I told you they going through it. So this could be an ego sublimination for a particular person where in their life, where I told you that page of cups that started off, that's somebody who always think they can get away with shit. They do. They got them back again. <laughs> and I was just speaking it up, page of cups. I tell you, that's somebody who, uh, some of y'all dealing with somebody that won't apologize or won't accept in the fact the matter when they wrong. They'd rather just keep being like they, um, like, they won't accept when they're wrong. They won't apologize. Like, they just keep pursuing. They keep keeping up bullshit. Like, they just don't stop. Like, whoever this person is, like, they just don't. What the fuck? Then we also have the hangman being in reverse. Could be immaturity. I'm going to say it's an immature person. Look up. This is a fallout. Some of y'all had a break up with a particular person. <sighs> Why is these people coming up tired when they eat the pedicles? Yeah, that's all it is. 
some of y'all coming to that breakup energy. Focus. How the hell did this shift? All right, then we got nine of wands. Is that nine of wands? Girl, we got six of wands. Mm -hmm. Girl, if you don't like somebody, like them by yourself. Stop trying to recruit other people and they missing out on their blessing with certain people. Thank you. All right. Now we got the courage to be able to step into life. I told you ravens are so bad. They talk about rebirth. Could be dealing with some of that death energy that's coming up. Go go watch uh it's a Scorpio reading that I did. I think it was in May or June. Damn. It was in May. You would know the camera was so shitty. Um <laughs> What it was in May or April. I think it was April though. Nah, I think that she was in May. Because it was talking about how Scorpios was going through like an ego death. And that shit was real in depth. I was like, damn, I said that. Like I went back. Cause sometimes I don't even remember what the fuck I said. Uh with these ten of pentacles. I'm talking about in the reading sometimes. All right, okay. Now we do got ten of pentacles with the two of swords and the ten of cups. Yeah, I said that though. Some of y'all just goes back to the kids. It's got something to do with home life, emotional and happiness. If there's a relationship, particularly with a particular person, I'll tell you there's some toxic environments. There's some toxic emotional patterning that comes with this particular person. There is a sense of truth. We do got this eight of cups and a page of pentacles. I did say that though. That could be something connected to their root shock. And I getting back to it that's coming up from here with some of y'all moving and y'all walking away. This is what divine trying to get you to leave away behind in that ego. Stay focused on whatever. Like some of y'all just staying focused. Some of y'all got some kids that want to drop the fuck out of school. What the hell wrong with them? You need to snatch their ass up and drag them to school every day, baby. I'll be off work. When I gotta be off work, I'm finna be sitting in that bitch every day. I'm finna be asked some questions. Go ahead. Fuck you talking about like you wasting my goddamn time. Nine of cups. <laughs> and then we also got the queen of still wasting my fucking time. What fuck you talking about? Shit. Go ahead. We finna go to school. Shit, I'm finna be back, 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 back. What you talking about? Back to back, back. It's going to be matching uniforms. Uh, but then we got the Eight of Cups with the Page of Pentacles. Because I said some of y'all, we going back to this ego death with the Page of Pentacles. Some of y'all, that is relinquishing that... Um, this is relinquishing that old patterning where it's like not being focused, not wanting to stick to certain things, whatever it is that somebody said that you could or couldn't do. But when you walk away, I'll tell you this is that uprooted energy. I will let you know because it's either you leaving that behind and when you walk forward, you're going to feel like when you move forward, it's going to be in this energy like, damn, what am I connect to? Where I'm going to be? What I'm going to do? So it's like still searching for some type of opportunity, whether that is relocating and moving. You move, but you ain't got the job. And But now you're trying to figure out certain shit. Now we do go to the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Swords. I don't like that, though, because the Queen of Swords in reverse. And what is that? I don't like that, though. Because Queen of Swords sometimes can be a hard to please as energy. This somebody that's nitpicking and always trying fights with them, starting fights or arguments with someone for no damn reason. It is like that's somebody who uh, really ain't. Like, they kind of hard to please. They always start arguments for no reason. It's kind of like, damn, like, what you want to argue for? Like, damn. Queen of Swords don't care about nobody. But they sell sometimes. All the queens is like that, though. Whew, I don't want to show y'all my fast. Now we got Caterpillar with Opportunity. We got 23 minutes. We got the Empress being in reverse with the Seven of Swords, the Justice card being in reverse, the Devil, and the goddamn King of Cups. Wow. I like that. Hold on. Let me turn my leg. My leg's starting to hurt. Girl, just imagine if I had this blanket on. My thighs would be all that. Okay. It's only when I'm gonna get paid for. I'm just it ain't black. Uh, we got the Empress, the Seven of Swords, and the Justice. Oh shit, I thought this was the wrong way. Yeah, I told y'all, some of y'all move, you relocate with your kids. This is a new opportunity for some of y'all. Some of y'all, this is uh bringing light or something into the home. I'm telling you with that number four, this is relationships. That stability that goes down to those foundations that you have with the seven of swords. Then I say with the goddamn re 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 ass energy that's coming up with the justice card here. I do kind of feel like this is new morals, this is new values. This is being able to see someone in a different light. Because I told you, it goes back to this particular person. It could be instigating or always starting fights in that particular nature. This is you. This is the truth. Some of y'all are finally learning this about them, though. This is a time for you to grow from phases in your life. Some of y'all be hiding from that, though, especially with this devil card here, this king of cups. Um, it could be a parent-child dynamic. 
for some of y'all that unfairness that you could be squaring up or going up against, I do kind of feel like this is a time for somebody to face the truth. I don't know what the hell that means. Like, this is just to face the truth to you. That's what that just said. Face the truth. Because you got the Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords in reverse. You got the fucking Justice card in reverse. And you got the Devil card in reverse and the King of Cups. It ain't no attachments. Like, that's clearly this form of truth. So, I mean, y'all, this is reforming some type of commitment so you could be able, if it goes down to emotional compassion or whether this is giving it to yourself or relation to a particular person, it is learning how to be able to, like I said, uh, self-assess your own opinions about particular people. How I was just saying, look at that. Look at that. Because this could be somebody that's judging somebody else. You don't know what the hell she don't. Look at that justice card. Y'all know what the fuck it means in reverse. Bias. Somebody who thinks their way only in a particular way. But, baby, that's not Empress Energy. It's not. That's why I said it is a room for growth. It's the truth. Somebody that's the truth about a particular person independently, though. Some of y'all gonna find it out, though. Y'all is. Never mind. How they done, how they feel about you or whatever the hell is. Okay, we have 26 minutes. Let's see what's going on. Everybody wants come through fighting. Da, 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 da. Ugh, this bitch. Okay, we got five of pentacles, and then we got the seven of swords. I mean, seven of wands in reverse, and we also have the hermit and the knight of wands. Look at that. Didn't I say that, though? Some of y'all got put out. Oh, this is somebody that's always trying to put you out your comfort zone. I told you there is a knight of wands energy that's coming up because this could be competition in that particular nature because there's somebody that's always trying to show up and compete against another person. Um, They don't know what it is that they want to do regardless, though. With this five of pentacles and the seven of wands, it's being very wishy-washy. Um, some of y'all, this is a time and form where you could be going, where you could be at a point where you could be self-reflecting and going in a lot about a lot of things. Though so I should have done this, or I did this in that particular nature, or how it is, because there is a sense of self-discovery because I I do feel like when y'all go into hermit mode, one of y'all just think about, well, damn, fuck. It's like a lot of hardship energy that comes with it. Like, it's not processing a lot. We got cheered in reverse. It's not processing a lot. Some of y'all don't process a lot because we got the world card, the two of cups in reverse, the four of wands, and the six of cups. Yep. No, this is not. Ooh, this is not. Some of y'all dealing with somebody who wish you watch as hell, though. If it's some people in your family, or this is some friends or a part of the commitment, because we do got two cups and the four ones, baby. This is letting motherfuckers go. Some of y'all this could be karmic relationships. Some of y'all don't recognize that the shit gotta go. It just been wrapped up. Some of y'all ain't even saying that though. Especially with this world card, baby. That's stagnation. That's blocked in perceptions. That's not being able to get through the hard time. Like somebody feel like the world don't move unless they say so. This is so entitled as energy, especially with that knight of swords and that two of cups. Somebody don't see the relationship is over or ended, whatever it is, if it's a marriage or a commitment, though. No, somebody still operates on the past mind frame. No, but I used to. You used to. We don't. So there's something in that particular nature. I tell you that, whatever friendship that you had with a particular person or relationship, somebody doesn't know how to move on. I tell you that. Because we got two of pentacles and ace of cups being in reverse. That's an unrequited type situation. There's somebody that's like, no, let's work it out. Let's do this. No, 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 no. We can see. No, we both see clearly that this shit ain't working. You got the tower card in reverse and the eight of pentacles. I'll tell you that's bored. Could be. I'll tell you that's boredom. It's fucking boredom. Some of y'all don't got the time and energy because we got four of pentacles, the ten of wands, the five of cups, and the six of wands. Yeah, baby, y'all with somebody that just don't want to grow. They don't. That's why I said, if you don't like somebody, please like them by yourself. Stop going off and cooling everybody else. Go stand by yourself. Be that bad bitch, queen of wands. Bill. Because with that four of pentacles and that, uh, with that four of pentacles are bright, but it's ten of wands. That's that point where you hear me say, solar heart, solar heart. Because somebody likes to be able to control their manipulative. Like, they like to see that. Like, this motherfucker be saying they behind the scenes. It's like seeing a little kid sticking their hand and keep it dry. Like, that's them. This is See you. You're the only motherfucker that's there. Like it's you. Like so it's somebody who's like that though. Um, some of y'all could be holding on to all the pain that somebody's particular caused you. So that is a problem though, with the six of wands and the five of cups. It's like nothing but attention seeking. I tell you that six of wands, that's that bullet energy with motherfuckers be like that with the queen of wands. It is somebody fell down off that pedestal. They ain't somebody ain't on that pedestal no more and they mad about it.
Now we got the full card. Hold on, we'll pull something else real quick before we wrap. We got the full card being reversed. Ace of Wands. The Ace of Swords being reversed in the Temperance. Yeah, this is that bully. Somebody said trying to hold on up to those control methods. Hey, I just seen a tweet. Somebody said if uh you shit. Wait a minute. Somebody said if you have dated someone who read for their laws of power, you may be titled. You may be titled. You may be entitled to victims' compensation. I said, well, let me go. It was a joke. So don't take that serious. It was a joke. It was a fucking joke. Uh Full power being a reverse the ace of wands, the ace of swords, and the temples. This is the truth, though. This is the truth. Somebody's not communicating to somebody because the queen of wands is just dissecting this. Here, she may be holding some back, though. This could be somebody in a state of depression. And so, this is friends, this is people, this is relationship, though. I don't know who this is that's coercion, but this is somebody that's like literally just bitch. Like, I'm telling you, like, I don't know if somebody's seen something that scared the shit out of their ass. There's a sense of lying. Somebody lying and they know the truth. Because you see how she got that light that's lighted up? You got to be a bold motherfucker to be walking just as fast as any one and still be able to hold that light on that camera. So there is some form of truth. They was holding it. Somebody trying to keep the truth, say the peace. Mm -hmm. They got two of ones here. They don't want to say shit. They still depending on because they know whatever they're going to say. With the, uh, they know whatever they're going to say is going to cause a particular problem. It is... High priestess. Damn, did I flip the deck? I did. I flipped the deck, my bad. I stay doing that shit. <laughs> Two wands and the emperor, though. There is a decision making. Girl, this is all over the place. Some of y'all been arguing with y'all daddies. We got three of cups, a high priestess being in reverse. I flipped the whole deck. Then we also have four swords and the nine ones. Yeah. See, this one I said somebody holding something back. Look at this. You got two wands and an emperor. When there's two wands and an emperor, this is a form of a decision that's going on between a particular person. Because somebody trying to tell somebody something, but they don't know them. Because it feels like when they say something, this is how the emotions are going to shift in a particular state of a matter. There could be a particular person who's manipulative like me. Now, we go down to the three of cups. I don't know what you're drinking. I wouldn't drink. That's all I got to say. Now, when it comes down to the high priestess, it's in reverse. There's a reveal that's going on. There's a reveal of information that is coming up to the forefront. Now, this could be between friends. I don't want to talk about this shit. This shit getting on my nerves. Damn, we got nine ones. That's a throuple, three-way, whatever it is. Yeah, then I say karmic. Ah. <laughs> yep, let's see what comes out on the other side. That girl saying green on the other side. Yeah, we got Ace of Pentacles. We also had a magician. Girl, why people just learn about magic and then be trying to call everybody else in their life when they feel like they miss out on something? Look at this nigga, because you got the King of Pentacles, then you got Four Cups. Y'all see how I switched that? <laughs> you got King of Cups. Then you got, um, you got King, no, you got King of Pentacles, the Four Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. Somebody trying to use some dark magic to bring somebody back. It could be money, gifts, wine, and dining, whatever it is. And somebody's like, no, like they doing a lot of shit. They are. Whatever it is, if there's a creative endeavor, a project, but some of y'all going to be glad when y'all move and get out whatever contract, whatever it is that you got going on. Some of y'all got petty ass boss or whoever it is that you be working with. However, they do certain things. They be doing shit half cocked. But it works for them, though. Some of y'all like, this shit is definitely unethical like a motherfucker. I tell you that. It's some money. Somebody is, though. Somebody. It's definitely unethical. I tell you that. But I'm telling you, somebody uses some dark magic to try to call somebody back. Because then we got the magician, the ace of pentacles, and the page of cups that goes down to that particular energy where there is someone trying to manifest someone back into their life. Some of y'all just could be somebody tugging on your solar plex. I tell you that, though, with their page of cups. They're saying they're wrong, but they're not. Baby, they may be fucking around with a whole bunch of glamour magic. They love spelling the shit out you. You won't see shit with you. Okay, but then we got three of wands, and then we got the page of swords, and then we got the queen of cups. Ooh. Get a discontentment, though. Three of wands, that page of swords, and the queen of cups. Who is this girl? Who is this girl? They be trying to spy their little ass off all in the goddamn dream state. Look at these. 
over here having them that damn emotion of Lars dealing with this particular person. Anytime you over there on their page, anytime they say something, fuck with you. Get the fuck off that man page. Then we got Queen of Pentacles. And then we got Hangman with the King of Wands. Get off his page or get off her page. You won't be mad. Then we got Six of Pentacles. And then we got Strength and the Judgment. This is money. Like somebody, some keep coming up with somebody left somebody out to dry. That's all I keep getting. I don't want to go into the energy because I already know where the fuck is going. But with this um, Six of Pentacles, this strength, and this judgment card, this ain't money, this information. This information that somebody gives to somebody else if they use it. It's a karmic, though. It's karmic situations. And I say this, friends, people. Didn't I just say this the other day, though? I said, one of y'all keep calling on since a matter for strength. Y'all making me sound like I'm crazy as hell. And I know I'm not. I'm not the time to fucking keep repeating myself. I sound like a fucking period in this bitch. I sound like the hangman. Yeah, we got Queen of Pentacles, the hangman, and the Queen of Wands. These two particular people that keep going around the same running up. Huh. Some of y'all know that somebody's just a little bit selfish. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll tell you that, especially with that night. Uh, you always just focus on a relationship. Or on a man or a woman, when y'all kids, it's probably out here looking for an emotional outlet and someone or something. And keep in mind, they can't be grown. Now, I'm not saying that in a state of where you always supposed to be looking after your kids. So your kids always supposed to be your first priority, especially if they grown. But there's something that's coming up. Oh, girl, this is too long. Wait a minute. This is too long. This be too long. I just need one card. Why Newman in the Ten of Swords? Same thing. Oh, we also got the Emperor. I'm telling you, this could be with a masculine. It's something about whoever this is is an authority. I'm on recorder. Get out. Uh -uh, don't come around this way. Who? A what? Say it out loud. No. I don't. Look in the refrigerator. Look in the refrigerator. I'm working on it. But then we also have the emperor here. What's this card? We got eight of swords. I saw this. It's something about whoever this is is in control or an authority, whatever this particular person. This could be a man. I don't know who this is. This could be a woman, but it could be somebody that could act like they're emperor, but they're really not. Because the reason why I say that, though, because we had the white Newman in reverse with the ten of swords. Some of y'all, this is a good time that you particularly have with a person. Some of y'all, y'all could be moving out some type of challenge of time, especially when it comes to this. But there's a ten of swords. You got this twice when it comes down to an ending between you and someone else. But some of y'all, this could be in your spine. Some of y'all feel like somebody could be stabbing in your back. No, this probably need to go do a little soul retrieve to get some of your goddamn energy back. Because this could be somebody to go the witch riding your back. My bad. Y'all never heard that before. I ain't heard it. I heard it before. I was like, Ooh, the witch could be riding your back. Now, we do got the world card, and then we also got the five of wands. That's why I said some of y'all don't see that, though. Whatever good times that you want to have with a particular person or a friend group, like, it's just fucking dramatic and drama felt as fuck it is, especially here because they compete with each other. That's so how you look at them, too. Like, they, these two people, they not friends. They just in on a drama. And this person, she knows. Right here, Everybody else think they up there. Like, wait a minute, hold up. You see how them two people speak, right? And there's right here. And she like hers across, or she blocking them, whatever it is, whatever's going on. She know these two motherfuckers is up to some shit. I'm telling you, some of y'all don't even see it though. That's why I said, whatever friends or particular people that you could be hanging with, it ain't nothing but drama. Like the way she just, I'm telling you, like she know that full of shit. I'm telling you, like one of y'all don't see this though on a particular group or stand there because I'm telling you, this could be communication with the stuff, the shit that they do, that they say. Like it is a lot. Now, I'm not talking about just a disagreement between you and someone else, but I'm telling you, there is a group of motherfuckers where they so low vibration. So low vibration. 
But good luck with that one. Um, good luck with that one, cause. And the reason why I say that though, because this five of wands is supposed to be a ceremonial card to me. That's what I get. It's a ceremonial card. Is at a state of where it's like ritualistic, where it could be practices and going on. And you see how these two particular, you know how like you be at church and the nigga that like I was gonna say, and the nigga be praying over the church, girl, get it together. You know how like the pastor be praying and shit, and these two motherfuckers like they in the zone. We're here, we know what we need to do. You got these particular, mm -hmm, girl, yep, mm -hmm. like they act like that. So this is the mischief. I tell you, so if there's a fallout between these two particular people or whoever they are, it's two particular people where they keep a lot of shit up. They are, girl. Ooh, Jesus. Learn your friends. I'm about to be saying, learn your enemies, bitch. I don't want to know. Anybody. Like, you're not saying you don't want to know. You're going to walk around her blind side and be like, shit. I don't want to use these. I don't. What the fuck is this? God damn. Action. Community, <laughs> purification, we got standstill, we got change, relaxation, success, solitude. That's why I said some of y'all focus, love, embracing, and voyage. That's why I said some of y'all were definitely moving. This could be a relationship or moving some out of town, somewhere else, but with the action and community and that purification and change. That's like this ain't number of people who can call your support group. Cause this shit at a standstill. Whoever you be around, they can block the way you think, the way you move, or whatever it is. Like it's it, it's no growth. Y'all don't know whoever the hell it is that's in your life. It's no growth. Cause you got change that came up behind it. Then you got before we go relaxation. It's the way you live with in your downtime. Cause of the community you around with or people you hang with, they're not people to where uh, you get to feel like whoo. Well, you even say you get to be in your skin. Detox, then you know, what the fuck for, right? Now, success, everything ain't always supposed to be so hard, all right? But then, focus, ain't that that muse energy where I said, some of y'all, you can't. Then, wait a minute, love don't always have to be in a relationship, it could be with you, it could be with yourself, whatever you want to do. Yeah, it could be just shit. I found something I really like. Yeah, you might find a new store. You like shopping it. Shit, I don't know. Then you got embracing, which is definitely the dove. Fertility, abundance, whatever it is that you could be tapping into. Because you could love what the hell you do now. This could be, oh, man, I got a new vendor. And this motherfucker is nice. My shit on time. I ain't got to worry about this shit. That could it be. Like, whatever you change, whatever environment you could, you be like, damn, I really like this shit. I ain't got no problem. Damn, I'm able to process a lot of shit with peace. Ooh. Shout out to you. I love you. I'm trying to get just leave it on there. I should have put my rose quartz in my teeth today, and I wouldn't have been so sassy. Right? But just leave it there. And we got a contract. Then I straighten it up. So, so yeah, we got two minutes. Actually, I got one minute and some seconds. <laughs> one minute and some damn seconds. All right. Same thing. That bridge for possibility for union. I did say that though. Some of y'all connected with some old people. This could be the show. Hey, that's an opportunity. I'm telling you, that's coming up. This could be working with a coexistence because I tell you, this does give me that goddamn um, justice energy. Two sides to one thing, but also trying to get to the bottom of something. Particularly though, this could be the might of something, working for the greater good, or stepping into some new form of a chapter. But I did say with the sacred country though, with this ancestral wisdom. Reconciliation. Mm -mm. Then I say somebody was coming back from crown games. Then I say somebody was playing a whole lot of shit. Oh no, we should do this and we should do. I, I no. I tell you, because some of y'all just could be leaving or taking your business and moving somewhere elsewhere. But it's somebody that's trying to make sure that it works because this is. It's so fucked up. What I'm finna say. I don't know. However, somebody generates money. One of y'all possibly losing one of y'all big contracts. That's all I got to say. Whoever generates you the most or whatever it is, one of y'all lose one of y'all top dumb the contracts or whatever it is with a particular person because there's some about some money. And I told you somebody salty about that though. It's like, no, let's work it out. No, let's fix this. No, it's something with this here. Something with something here. And then I tell you where you're moving at a particular time though. I told y'all in the kitchen about the ancestral message though, making that head and that heart decision. Then I say that, see how she pulled her head all the way down to her heart. 
part. She got a hand on her head. She know what it is that she need to do. I don't think that's a she, but still. How does a she get needed, right? But she know what it is that she need to do. Because you got to lay of the land. Ancestral wisdom. Tap into. I did say that soul tree, soul contracts. So on that note, now there's a reconciliation that's coming up. But be weary though, because this is a welling tree. I fucked the tree, hobby. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just not playing with y'all. This is a welling tree. I tell you how the hell the tree. How the hell is the tree hollering? They put themselves in this position. I don't know how you see about that though. Could be a person. I told you they're going through some changes though. So be weird. This is a particular person. So I mean, I did somebody like if it's something you've been, I'm telling you, it's something that you've been asking for in a contractual matter. If it's like you the plug, like that's my dream to become a plug. We had a conversation one day. But um to be the plug, whatever it is that you got, somebody wants. So there's a negotiation period that's going on in a contractual matter. No, they could do this. No, 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 no. I could work this out for you now. I can do this. I can do this. No. Like, it's like all the things that you was once complaining about in the country, though. I'm telling you, that's what they re 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 because you got two sevens. You got five. Then I say re 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 shit coming up from the page. And then you got the eight. You finna get the hell on down. Being able to take this shit and just take it where you got to go. I'm telling you, you got seven, seven, five, eight. What it is, what it is. Mike, Let me see. Break it down. That's nine. Yeah, and it comes out of there. That's nine. You better hang in now. That's all I gotta say. You better hang in now. Get your negotiation skills up. But that's about it. That's all I got. I ain't got no more. So, um, this is this though. But I tell you, somebody playing a whole lot of games. They is they playing a lot of games with money, time, whatever it is. Like if some old to you, whatever is yours. Um, there's money. There's this. Some of y'all could be reconnected with family because there could be a fallout they have between y'all over some type of money, some wealth, some practice. I don't know. But some with this goddamn tree. I don't know. you got going on. It's some with the tree and their wealth. I don't know who farms. Somebody be farming or something. I don't know. Somebody be farming or something with some land. I don't know where y'all stay. Are y'all arguing over properties? Oh, that's so rich and entitled. Never mind. That's rich I wouldn't know, right? But, um, <laughs> I wasn't supposed to say that. I'm gonna go. But some of y'all arguing over some money. Y'all got rich people problems where it's like, oh my God, I'm going through this. So and so, so and so, they got the land and I want it. I wanted to buy it. No, I had the money. I was supposed to get this. No. 